Hi there, Christian Henson from Spitfire Audio here. Uh, today, to accompany our journal, which has a pianistic theme uh, this month, um, I'm going to run through all of the different Spitfire pianos that we've made, um, but with my kind of composer head on as well. Um, we've got over eight pianos, so it's a bit daunting. You come to the site and go, well, what's the best one or what do I use them for? And, I, you know, being a recovering piano player myself, you know, I don't think one piano necessarily fits all. Um, but with my composer hat on as well, I will, for each type of piano that we've got, possibly suggest some alternatives because there's some really good stuff out there. So I guess the um, Spitfire story and pianos begins with my felt piano. I was working on a uh, big kind of children's fantasy fairy tale and we hired this piano because I wanted a piano that sounded like an upright, not a grand. And we actually had a piano player coming playing the grand and the upright. And um, I'd never seen these practice felts, which is this middle pedal that puts felt on top of the piano. So after recording uh, this uh, fantasy fairy tale, I booked Air Adel Studios and I uh, hired the piano again. And I uh, played the thing myself for a day, recording all of these different round robins and pedal downs and all that kind of stuff. But I only recorded one dynamic layer. So let's have a listen to that. Uh, so it's with the felt on, one dynamic layer, a uh, couple of round robins per uh, note, and then uh, with the pedal up and down. So let's have a listen. So you can hear it's really designed for uh, drama use. It's, it's been mic'd very, very close. One of my favourite things is I've got my nail there. You can hear my nail, actually. I physically played every note differently and I thought it'd be good to get my nail on this D. And it was very moving because the other day I was watching this incredibly sad film and uh, one of the main featured instruments was the felt piano. And there was something really moving to have contributed to this amazing film, kind of inadvertently played on the piano on it. Anyway, this is part of our Spitfire Laboratories range, so you can get this for free in return for a very small donation to charity. So if you just go spitfireaudio.com forward slash free samples, you'll be able to get your hands on. It's it, it's called the felt piano here, but it's actually we've had to rename it the, the soft piano because we brought out a commercial felt piano. So next along is the Gwilym Syncop felt, and I believe he's a Mercury Award winner uh, for his, his amazing jazz pianist. So I got this amazing... Uh, shimmel and what's amazing about this piano is you don't have to play it hard to get the felt to, to ring so we could go in a little bit deeper there's loads of uh, microphone positions there that kind of thing um, and also again we got this amazing pianist to, to make sure he felt every note and you, you think a piano is just a note on note off um, but it's not there is there's a touch so this is absolutely beautiful too So really beautiful. I would say it's slightly more piano-y than the um, the free soft piano, which has is more it's it's more kind of belly. It's more out of this world. So this is a very I think familiar, beautiful, mournful piano. Recorded on our dry stage in King's Cross. Next along is Olafur Arnold's uh, composer tool toolkit, the centrepiece of which is actually a grand, it's a baby grand piano, about 100 years old, that Olafur has refitted. I'm just going to take this down. And um, uh, uh, it's basically his signal path, um, and he, he's managed to pimp his piano because it's very difficult to put felt on a grand piano because you have the crossing over strings. He's uh, managed to pimp his piano so it's got a, a felt of his uh, choosing. Now, I would say this, is, this goes along the cooler edge of things. It's really super intimate. It's super quiet. It's super kind of hyped, but it has... 
uh, just an extraordinary sound. So let's listen to that. So you can hear the kind of fizzy crisp of the felt. Also done is he's uh, created. He's basically taking reverbs from spring reverbs off the piano, and he's creating these spatial effects as well, which are just they fit so well with the piano. What I love about it, it's definitely an old piano but it doesn't sound like a pub piano, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to move on to the Bedlam piano, which is again part of our Spitfire Labs range. And um, basically, I love the, the music of Tom Waits. And uh, I uh, what I like about his pianos are they're out of tune, but they don't sound like a honky-tonk pub piano. So I allowed my piano at home to go out of tune, and my home is uh, located behind... Um, the Imperial War Museum, which was formerly um, Bethlehem Mental Hospital, otherwise known as Bedlam, which is why the piano is called uh, uh, Bedlam Piano. And what I like about this is it's an out of tune, upright, but it doesn't sound like a honky tonk piano. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Um, it's funny that the minute they go out of tune, they lose a lot of, of their bottom end and stuff. I guess that the, the, it's not resonating as efficiently when it's out of tune. So if you want to add in a little bit of uh, honour, a little bit of uh, thickness, what I find is they often blend very well with the in-tune felt pianos. <laughs> Other pianos I would recommend, uh, Imperfect Samples make some excellent Imperfect pianos. Um, the upside, I think I've got the Braxted or something like that. Um, also, if you go to Pendle or Sound Dust, um, they do a ship's piano, which is fantastic. And I've already done a demonstration of this, which I'll, I'll link on the journal page. If you combine the ship's piano with the Spitfire soft piano, uh, you get a real uh, Tom Waitsy sound, especially with some, uh, if you smash it to pieces with... Um, some compression. Right, moving along to our grand pianos, and I'll, I'll do this kind of chronologically. We sampled the piano at Air Studios to make what we would refer to as a contextual uh, grand piano. Uh, what we found was that a lot of the piano libraries out there um, had been recorded in such a way that they just were so difficult to mix in with orchestral samples. So we approached this 100% from the point of view of making a piano that's designed to go along with and behind orchestral material. Um, so it's not upfront and kind of personal and stuff. It's, it's designed as a proscenium kind of view of a piano. And we've got loads of... Um, uh, mic positions here. Uh, I'll, I'll do a little mix here. And also, it's quite interesting, you might want to try this, but we've got a digital version and a version that was recorded to two inch. I'm going to play the digital, but you'll see um, it, it's created from one dynamic layer, which is a loud kind of a, a forte, just a kind of a modest forte. Um, it does have um, dynamic response, uh, but it's it's been uh, made under the hood. But as I say, it's just designed to sit with orchestras, not to be this kind of drama up front and close kind of thing. <laughs> It's great for systems, uh, Steve Reich and, and um, kind of uh, John Adams. That kind of thing. 
the stuff. Okay, let's pull down the tree, which is um, the microphones that sit above the uh, conductor's head, which have, um, they're quite high up, so they have a lot of ambience, just to leave the, uh, the close. So it's, it's quite nice. It still has very much the feel of Air Studios, but it uh, has a slightly more intimate uh, kind of sound, tighter sound. I have to apologise for my piano playing. I am, I'd refer to myself as a recovering uh, piano player um, and uh, only got to grade five and the highlight of my career, I would say, was uh, playing piano for Peter Andre on a couple of world tours. So now you know. Um, moving along to the kind of centrepiece of our piano offering at Spitfire, and that is Hans Zimmer Piano, which is a year-long project, uh, absolutely phenomenal amount of uh, content here, from a full and bright uh, dynamic piano um, to some soft iterations and then some effects. So I'll just give you, now I would say this is, this library, really if there was to be anything that we could offer up as a is a piano that offers loads of different uh, options for different uh, applications Hans Zimmer's uh, does. Uh, from very bold and bright... Now, the amazing thing about the size of this monster of a piano is that uh, when you put a close mic next to it, it just it, it, it's completely engulfed with the piano. So it really doesn't necessarily feel like it's been recorded in a big hall. <laughs> Just amazing. Hans is a real fan of uh, soft sampling, uh, as are we. Uh, so we've also got the very soft version of this piano, which is just awesome. So, I mean, I think that is the ultimate uh, drama piano for me. It, it sounds like a piano. It's, it's, it's got the kind of the emotion that a piano naturally brings. Um, but uh, it, 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 there isn't that kind of brightness that so often with, uh, you know, these keyboards, you can suddenly just hit a note and it's suddenly becoming all sorts of it's kind of bright and artificial. Awesome. Also, along with uh, Hans Zimmer's uh, piano are lots of effects. There's a percussive one and all of that kind of stuff. And there's some great harmonic shorts. <laughs> Which is just uh, great stuff. A lot of a lot of selection of different long plucks. And whilst we finish on that, we do actually have a plucked piano in the labs range, so free in return for a very small contribution to a children's charity. Spitfireaudio.com forward slash free samples. <laughs> unusual almost like a chimbalum uh alternative options other than the spitfire i would say i i'm i was a big user of ivory so i would check that out for the all-rounder type of stuff 
and where a soft piano sample is concerned, I know that Hans has got a lot of use out of the Malzmo. Um, and in fact, a lot of uh, his scores actually feature that on the Masters. So well worth checking out. Thanks so much for putting up with my really miserable piano playing. I hope it contextualises it in the sense of how uh, these pianos would be used by media, film, TV, uh, games composers and uh, helps you make a decision and maybe experiment with some of these uh, free in return for charitable contributions that we offer. Um, thanks as always for listening. Bye-bye. Kind of drama, uh, media composer point of view. And that's the telephone, so I've got to go. Bye-bye. <laughs>